Good morning, everyone. I suppose it is a tired but exuberant day in western New York. And uh, some of you maybe were up all night, I don't know. Fireworks were going off on St. Gregory Court last night. I was awake to hear them. So we gather not only with the joy of the Buffalo Bills, but more importantly, the joy of our Lord. And uh, Christmas, still today, ends today with the baptism of the Lord. And so we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and may the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you to prepare ourselves to come to the altar once again worthily and celebrate the sacred mysteries we pause to acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. This day we do pray the glory of together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, I'm the King, O God Almighty Father. Lord God, she's the only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption reborn of water and the Holy Spirit may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, 
the voice of the Lord is majestic. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. proclaimed, One might hear than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. And coming up Out of the water he saw the heavens being torn open, and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. One of my daily reflections pulled out of the prophet Isaiah, an image that I suppose we could overlook, but it was really a beautiful image and uh, one that's probably very familiar to us, a little bit better than halfway down, Isaiah says to us this morning, I have grasped you by the hand. I have grasped you by the hand. Of course, goes on to say, I formed you in such as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring up prisoners from confinement, from dungeons, those who live in darkness. But I grasped you by the hand. Maybe think what a powerful image that really is. Uh, Fifty Two years later, 53 years later, I still remember my mother holding my hand, walking me into kindergarten. I had a little flashback to that. And uh, I know that uh, very often, especially leaving church because the parking lot is, you know, a, a nightmare on Sunday mornings, you know, to see parents with young children be sure they take their children's hand, you know, remember a funeral that I had back at Our Lady of Pompeii, a burning image I had, the couple, they were married a long time, I don't know if it was 60 or 70 years, it was a long, long time. And any time you saw them, and I mean any time you saw them, 
They were always walking hand in hand. Even uh, into their 90s, they were still walking hand in hand. A beautiful image of holding the hand. I suppose metaphorically, I don't know, legally we can say it because a lot of things you can't legally say any longer. But I, I think in the old days at least when somebody new was starting off working, you said, well, I'll hold your hand for a little while. We didn't physically hold their hand, but we kind of meant we we're going to show you the ropes and we'll, we'll teach you. And then once we're done holding your hand metaphorically, you know, we're going to launch you and you're going to do your job on your own, right? You know. The beautiful image of holding the hand is an image of security, especially when we're younger. I suppose it is an image of uh, intimacy and union. And um, it is uh, an image of, of also being, being launched. And I think that's really maybe all of those images what Isaiah is talking about uh, in our relationship with the Lord. Of course, Isaiah talking about the faithful servant, the Messiah, the Savior, but as we bear his name from that moment that we are baptized, you know, our, our hand is kind of held. And uh, from that moment of baptism, the uh, church walks with us. And from that moment of baptism, uh, there's the safety and security. As I've said many a time in this very pulpit, it's really very nice being Catholic because any question that comes up, just go to the scripture or the catechism and you got your answer. You know, uh, you don't have to think a heck of a lot. Uh, you just have to have faith and believe. <laughs> and um, walking with the hand through life. But then we get launched as well. And uh, we get launched because we know we are in that intimate relationship with Jesus, a member of his body, formed in the womb and uh, we hear then we are then sent, as Isaiah talks about the faithful servant of the Messiah, but for you and me, we are then sent as the light to the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to bring prisoners from confinement and the dungeon to bring light to those in darkness. So we bring maybe Christmas to a close today and... Uh, think about our own life of faith, maybe we kind of see today as a day that we're launched. And uh, we're launched into physically a new year. Of course, the spiritual year began the first Sunday of Advent, but we're launched into this new year. Maybe we uh, think a little bit about how and desire even more for the, the church to hold our hand, to learn to be taught by the church to have a safety and security within the faith and then to reflect on that intimacy of the Lord that we share with him as the Lord holds our hand, but then to have that courage to go off on our own because uh, we're to be that light, that word, that action. We renew ourselves in, in all of this today. I even noted yesterday, I can't remember which quarter, but I think it was in the second half, one of the times you know, our dear Josh was down on the ground. It was very clear one of the teammates took him by the hand and lifted him up. And you could see he was down on the ground because there was some actual muscle used to, to help lift him up. May we grab each other by, by the hand in those same moments of life when we need to be picked up and per perhaps uh, brushed off and uh, continue on to live that life of faith. We think about that as we turn, we offer our needs, our intentions to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we do come before you as your people of faith, knowing that you embrace us by the hand throughout our life, and that you launch us to live that life of faith in the world today. Please hear our needs and petitions once more as we present them to you. For the church throughout the world, for all of the baptized, that we take seriously that call of abiding in the power of the Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We pray to you, Lord. In thanksgiving for the abundant blessings received during this season of Christmas, and that the light, the joy, the renewal, the hope of this season may be carried with us throughout the year, we pray to you, Lord. 
for all of those who serve us in so many ways, particularly the first responders and those in military and those in public office, that all who serve us do so with sincerity of mind and heart and that their lives be always respected as they give their lives in that life of service. We pray to you, Lord, for all of those discerning God's call, if it be to a life of single life, of marriage, or of ordained or consecrated religious life, that all of our young may take seriously that call of discernment and to listen to God's will. We pray to you, O Lord, for those in need of healing in body, mind, or in spirit, for those in need of healing of memories of the past, for those in need of healing from the loss of loved ones, for all in need of healing in many and varied ways, for hope in that power and to realize that gift, we pray to you, Lord. For Todd Goodman, his family, a contention for the living today, and for um, all, uh, all of the um, souls of the faithful departed, that they truly do share in God's mercy and eternal life, we pray to you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer you the many needs, those we have spoken, and the many in our hearts. As always, we humbly pray, please hear us and help us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness, and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew full, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Gregory the Great and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be, always, free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church graciously. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another now a sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away these sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O 
Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat Your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to Your only begotten Son, we may be Your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. We offer the prayer for renewal. In every age, O God, You've called us to be Your people, to be Your church. In this time, we begin anew to discern the pathways that will lead us, Your people, closer to You. Continually bless our journey as we proclaim Your good news. Celebrate Your saving presence among us. Serve others with charity and justice. And steward the world You've entrusted to our care. Send Your Spirit to lead and guide our Mayor's journey as we commit ourselves to the renewal of our church. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a good day, everyone.